What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel today. We are baking with Liv. I am not sure if these recipes are going to turn out because I've never cooked these exact recipes and to be honest, I'm not the best cook you've ever seen. So we always anticipate things not turning out just so when they don't turn out, I'm not super disappointed. But um, these recipes are really quick and easy and simple. I'm going to be showing you three different recipes today. The first one that I'm going to be showing you is one that I'm going to be taking to my parents' house tonight. We are doing dinner there tonight and I am bringing a treat for dessert. I always love having dessert after dinner, so um, I'm going to be making a cheesecake brownie. I've never made this recipe before. It is a healthier alternative because of the ingredients that are in um, this dessert. The same, with, same goes for all of the recipes I'm going to be sharing with you today. There's going to be three different recipes and they're not super, super low calorie. That wasn't the vibe I was going for. I was going for more so like wholesome, nutritious desserts that have ingredients in them that are good for you and for your body. Of course, that doesn't mean you can eat the whole pen or eat 10 cookies, although you may want to, but it's at least you can feel really good knowing that the ingredients in these foods are good for you and your body. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we are going to make this cheesecake brownie. I found this on skinnytaste.com. Um, like I mentioned, I've never made this recipe before, so if it doesn't turn out, well, it doesn't turn out because I am not the best cook. I am not the best baker. You guys know this. Um, so I really like to choose like easy, quick recipes just because it makes my life a lot easier. But I'm going to put the links in the description box. I will also maybe put the recipes there. We'll see. All the info will be down below in the description box. I definitely did not make these recipes myself because I am no cook. So um, let's go ahead and dive in. So in this first brownie recipe, we are using almond flour, which is a really great option to whole wheat flour. It's also, it also really helps keep your food like more moist. I know a lot of people don't like the word moist, so I don't know why I used it. Um, but you don't need to add any like butter or oil to it, which is awesome because that does save calories. So we're gonna be using almond flour in this recipe. And then the ingredients that it calls for is, let me find them. Cooking spray, eggs, um, almond flour, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, honey, um, vanilla extract, chocolate chicks, chocolate chips and fat-free cream cheese and then two tablespoons of sugar which I'll probably skip out on because um, it's just probably not necessary so I'm going to grab all these ingredients and then we'll get started. We got all of the ingredients set up Oops, forgot my cooking spray. Um, and then I have an eight by eight pan. It calls for a nine by nine pan, but I don't have that, so this will have to do. I have the oven preheating to 325, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so while that is baking, we are gonna move on to some no-bake healthy cookies. I have made these cookies before. It's probably been like two years since I made them though, but they're really, really easy. Obviously, you don't even have to pop them in the oven, which is so nice. So um, these ones are really, really quick. The total time it says it's gonna take me to make them is 15 minutes, so that's perfect and easy. I found this recipe on Pinterest, um, and these are good year-round. You could make these for Christmas. I'll probably put some sprinkles on top to make them a little bit more Christmassy, but you can definitely make these at any time of the year. So um, lots of these ingredients you probably already have in your house.
Okay, so I just finished up the no-bake cookies. Those are just gonna sit in the fridge for about an hour, it said, which is gonna be perfect because I have to run to my nail appointment soon. Um, I took the brownie cheesecake out of the oven and I wish I didn't add the sprinkles because it definitely didn't make them look as good as it probably would have looked without it, but hopefully it still tastes good. So I am on to my third, actually I'll show you what that's looking like right now. the last recipe I have already put the slivered almonds on um, a baking tray I'm about to throw them in the oven for eight to ten minutes the third recipe that I'm going to make is like an almond chocolate bark this is one of my favorite things to have just because um, it like dark chocolate really does a good job of like satisfying my sweet tooth so I love making this one right around Christmas time but again any of these recipes are good for any time of the year so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these almonds in the oven as you can see they are already on the baking tray and they are good to go for 350 for about eight to ten minutes so this recipe calls for the blanched slivered almonds one and a half teaspoons coconut oil and one teaspoon vanilla extract and then some 10 ounces of dark chocolate chips and some sea salt I'm probably gonna add on some extra sea salt just because I love the sweet sweet and salty flavor so the almonds are cooking in the oven right now I'm just warming up the saucepan and I'm going to throw in those other ingredients Okay, by the way, it said one tablespoon and half of a teaspoon of the coconut oil, which is very, very precise. Okay, I don't have anything to give me the right um, consistent, I don't have any salt that's like small enough without actually just grinding it. Like these granules are really, really big. So I just put a salt, some salt in a bag. I put um, just a kitchen cloth over top of it and I have just been hitting it with a hammer just a little bit. Now the salt is good to put on over top. bark is complete I didn't have like a proper tray to put it in just because it wanted the same pan that I used for the cheesecake brownies so I just put it on like a serving plate that I had so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge and let it cool along with the no bake cookie them and they are so good I do think that the um, cream cheese could have used the two tablespoons I believe it was of sugar which I decided to cut out but I am going to head to my parents house for dinner and I'm gonna bring some of this over for dessert I tried the cookies I tried the bark and I tried the brownies and everything tastes so good if you guys enjoyed watching this video I will definitely film something else like this in the future so just let me know in the comments down below but thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!